Hello, welcome to a new episode of Another History. Most people are familiar with the destruction of the Library of Alexandria in Egypt, but few people know about the House of Wisdom in Baghdad, Iraq. It was known as Bayt al-Hikmah in Arabic and was founded in the 8th century by Caliph Harun al-Rashid of the Abbasid dynasty. The Abbasids came to power in Iraq with the victorious revolution in 750 CE against the Umayyad caliphs. They moved the capital from Damascus to Baghdad in Mesopotamia at a time when Muslim conquest and imperial growth were beginning to foster a dynamic cu cultural climate. So there were different intellectual tra traditions that came together under Muslim rule, including Greek learning from Europe and Alexandria, as well as that of the Persians, Indians, and Sumerians in the East. And technological developments arrived with the production of paper from China. In Europe, the main way to produce books and maps was to write on parchment, which required a lengthy and expensive process and use the skin of animals. So advances in paper production and bookbinding meant that knowledge and ideas could be exchanged with rapidity, which enabled academic enterprise to thrive. Baghdad grew rapidly in its military strength, economic power, booming trade, cultural and intellectual dominance, and especially its wealth, and so it became the centre of an empire stretching from across the east and into North Africa. So Caliph al-Rashid built the House of Wisdom for works collected first by his grandfather, the Caliph al-Mansur, and then by his father, the Caliph al-Mahdi, and obviously himself as well. The house was built as a library to protect knowledge and eventually became a centre of ancient and current learning in the medieval world. And this intellectual centre helped to produce the Islamic Golden Age between the 7th and 13th centuries. It preserved important works of scholarship from across Europe and the Middle East. And it was also a translation institute and a key institution uh, and a key part of the translation movement. The house was an unrivaled centre for the study of humanities and for Islamic science, including mathematics, astronomy, medicine, alchemy and chemistry, zoology, geography. The house also gathered together Persian, Indian and Greek texts, including those of Pythagoras, Plato, Aristotle, Hippocrates, Euclid, Plotinus, Galen, Shushruta, Chiraka, Aryabhata and Brag Magub. The list goes on. So scholars accumulated a great collection of world knowledge and built on it through their own discoveries. Scholars came from all over Europe and the Middle East, including Persians, Muslims, Christians and Jews. So the languages used, used include Arabic, which was the lingua franca, as well as Farsi, Hebrew, Aramaic, Syriac, Greek, Latin and occasionally Sanskrit. And translating was lucrative work, earning the waiting gold of each manuscript completed. Scientists also authored their own works in the house, like the Arab mathematician al Khwarizmi, who studied in the house and his famous book of restoring and balancing gave us the term algebra. Meanwhile, Caliph al Mamun had an astron astronomical observatory built to test Ptolemy's theories. So the Arabs really saved ancient knowledge and gave us the Renaissance. The House of Wisdom inspired similar libraries beyond the Muslim Empire, such as the Aglubids, the Andalusians, and the Egyptians in Cairo. But along with all other libraries in Baghdad, the House of Wisdom was destroyed during the Mongol invasion of Baghdad in 1258. It was said that the waters of the Tigris River ran black for six months with ink from the enormous quantities of books flung into the river. The amount of knowledge that was lost that year is indescribable, and it was a tragic ending for one of the most advanced, diverse and progressive cities of the age.